Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor, and I'm here today with my other son. Hey! And he is going to be helping me with a little project. We've got, uh, I've got a, a Patreon brick that I need to put somebody's name and a picture on, similar to the process I used when I made this dice. Although, with this dice, I did it in Blender, and we're going to be doing it today in Tinkercad. So, he's a master of Tinkercad. We're going to let my son handle this. <music> I'm not quite a master, but I am pretty good at Tinkercad. You're getting better at it. So, now, this is the shape that we, this is the STL that we want to put it in. One of the big hex Patreon bricks. And the image that we want to put on there is this... Voler Optimus. Vol, Voler Optimus. It is the USASOAC uh, logo with a wings and a knife. Now, there's a problem, though. What's the problem? Um, it is all dotty. Yes, it's that a bitmap image, which bit means it's it's defined by little dots. That's one problem. The other problem is this is FFF 3D printing. Can we do multicolor prints with it? No. No, we have to do, and we can't even do single color prints. What do we need to do? Well, we need to drag it into Inkscape, which it's already in there. So, so yeah, we need to, to take and figure out how to put this shape into this so we need to define the shape so go ahead and close this picture x yep and so the first thing we do is we take that bitmap and we import it into inkscape we, which we've already done open yeah, up we, got, we right now is click it open with go down to inkscape. inkscape or choose inkscape but we've got inkscape open so click that and there's our picture so now we go to path it's up a little bit. Trace bitmap. Trace bitmap, there you are. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to grab this off the... For some reason it's putting things on my other screen, but that's all right. So here's the trace bitmap option, and we can hit live preview on here. Now there are lots of options in tracing bitmap. Uh, by default, it's set to brightness cutoff, which takes anything that's above a certain brightness and does it, and takes anything below a certain brightness and does it. And that's that that kind of works, but in this case, with a multicolor image, we want to do it. There we go. Multiple multiple scenes with a group together. So we want eight different colors. Now we could do more or less colors. Uh, there's you know there's no rule, but we're going to do this. So go ahead and just hit OK. Yeah, well, let's crank it up to like. I mean, if, if we crank it down to like two, uh, we do see. two Look colors, my flip. go up that three, is ugly. yeah, four, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, we'll keep it at eight. Eight's a good, eight's a good default and hit okay. Okay, we have And now it. we can close this out. X to you. And now this is, zoom in a little bit on it. Get it, get it nice and close in there. Well, not that close. Silly. But yeah, okay, so now we've got multiple objects all grouped together. So what do we got to do? We got to take the object and ungroup it. Yeah. So object, on the menu, up on the left there, object, ungroup. Ah. Just like in Tinkercad, right? A lot like Tinkercad. Okay, so yeah, start dragging stuff off. So there's, there's one layer. But we want those wings. We do want the wings, so we can delete the ones that we don't want. That one's okay. That one's alright. That one's alright too. That one's not what we want. <laughs> that one is not at all good. good. That one's... I don't know. It's got maybe too much detail. It looks pretty that good. Goes, that place right there. Yeah, let's maybe Too kill much it. effort. Bye. Let's maybe kill it. Goodbye to you. Also the white and background. Oh. oh, and there's the source behind it. We need to kill that too. Okay, so we got three of them to pick from three of the layers. Separate them all out. And and walk me through which one you want to choose. Well, last time we chose this when we were practicing, so bye-bye. Oh, what was wrong with it? Just because we had already chosen yeah. it. Oh, there you go. And this one, its words are thinner. However, well, not as thick as these ones. You like the thicker better than the thinner? Yeah. I and agree. This is so much darker, which makes it look better than... Well, we can change the color. I mean, oh. the color doesn't matter, right? Here, click on that one. Click on one of the colors across the bottom. Uh, 
perfect choice. Okay, there we go. After purple, purple is better. It doesn't really matter. The color is not going to be in the final. Okay, so now that we've got this as, now if you zoom in on this, it's no longer dots, it's lines and curves and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. Do we want to, do we want to edit the lines and curves? Um, we definitely want to edit the graphene. Oh. Yeah, there are a couple of points on the side there that we want to get rid of. There's a couple of points on the bottom that we want to get rid of. A uh, couple points on the other side. And at the top, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that with the other one. Hey, little doobelies. Hey, little doobelies. Now, uh, go ahead and click the uh, the normal arrow selection button now. We're done with this. Yeah. And now let's save this as an SVG, which as opposed to a JPEG, is not bitmaps. It's it's uh, uh, the vectors and lines and stuff like that. So click, you have to just go down just a little bit. Click File, Save As. Up, upper left, there you go. Save As. That's the one. And then just hit Save. We, we could rename it something, but that's fine. Go ahead and close out of Inkscape. We're done with it. Bye bye, Inkscape. Now let's go into Tinkercad. Okay, we're gonna don't, have to okay. minimize. We don't we have, have to, to minimize, we could leave it there. True, and just. And now we need to bring in these two elements. And, and put them together. So, uh, bring in through the import menu. Import, where are you? There you are. You, back up. Um, this one. That one. The hex SVG. No, not that one. That's JPEG. That there you are. Yeah. Let's not do that again. And so into Tinkercad, boom. There's the hex. Go ahead and import the other one too. Where are you? There you go. Um, I'm like, wait, what's going on? Then I remember. Yeah, where that one. Do all this stuff. Okay, and import. Whoa, push. Whoa, again. Yeah, the it the likes it a little bit. First time we did this, it wasn't this big. Second time we did this. It was. Just well, we're going to rock it. Let's, let's go ahead and just make that smaller. Yeah, make sure to hold down shift when grabbing the corner so that everything scales proportionally. And then let go of shift before trying to move it. Yeah. My mind shut off for a few seconds doing that. Don't have to hit control. Okay. We need to stand it up now. And now we need to put it on the brick. You know, there's an easier way. Move to workspace. Oh, put, I mean, put it there. Obviously, you're in the right spot. But. Now, with the workspace here, uh, it's oh. easier to see where things are in relation, and it's easier. This one tells you how far from the workspace you are, so. There we go. Okay. Scoop, zoom in just a little bit. Adjust your view. Whoa. Five is maybe a little too thick. There we go. Okay. Good job. Let's turn you into a hole. Yep, turn it into a hole and sink it into the piece just a little Whoa. bit. Now we do want to put we do want to put the supporter's name on here. This was Blaine Sprouge's. And so here's how Blaine Sprague spells his name right here. So let's get the name on there as well. Text. 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 Where are you? Okay, let's shrink that down. Yep. Click this. Oh my. Capital B. B L A I N E. Capital S. Lane Sprague. P R H U E. Um. Yeah, that's. Let's uh, slide it. Okay, perfect. Now uh, I don't like that font. I don't like the the serify, timesy Roman for this one. He likes sands. I like sands for he this likes one. Sands. 
Prophet, but how do you are going into this freaking prophet? Yeah. You, you know if you if you uh here, let me show you something. So if you is it right mouse click on the background? No, it's middle mouse click. So if you click with the middle mouse button, take a look. That wheel is a middle mouse yeah, button. Yeah, I know. Then you can pan it. I discovered that on Minecraft. Okay. And there we go. I think we should make it just a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, hold on shift for me. There we go. Okay, keep going. Okay, let's turn you into a And sink him down into it just a little bit. Maybe two. There we go, perfect. And now, uh, you know what, make that logo just a little bit bigger. You know, we're in a fiddling phase, so... Oh, oh you're just gonna... Okay, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, I've already printed out the tile here, and we'll take a closer look at it later, but these big hex tiles go uh, uh, corner to corner, so this whole thing needs to rotate 30 degrees on this thing so it's pointing towards the corner, or oriented towards the corner. So, what are you doing? Shrinking it, like you said. No, I didn't say shrink that. I said rotate it. I already shrunk it. That's perfect. Uh, oh, you need to make the logo bigger. I think you can use the space a little bit. That's all right. Just grab them both, rotate them 30 degrees. We'll call it good. Where's the rotate? I don't know where the rotate buttons go. What you do with them? There it is at the very bottom. What are you doing down there? And rotate it exactly 30 degrees. That's 40. There you go. You got to take it to the outside to get it to rotate 31, 30. There we go. Perfect. Now line it up a little bit. Whoops. Control Z. Yep. Grabbing the other things now. Yeah, you can grab them separately or yeah hold down shift to grab them both together you can use the bottom of the knife to tell if you're oriented properly just put the bottom of the knife at that very corner right there that's close enough okay. you're not moving with confidence boy okay yeah you're gonna grab them all together just hit control a to select everything together good point but too late okay Gro groovy group them Control. Very good. Like the blade disappeared. And, and like, let's put the let's put the work plane back on the bottom here. Yeah. And there is Blaine Sprague with Blaine his Sprague. Uh, logo embedded in there. And you notice it's embedded in, so it's actually uh, uh, part of the shape. And yeah. now when we print it, it shows up. All you have to do is export it as an STL. What you got to say? Yours looks um, different than... I did do it a little bit differently, but this I think this illustrates the idea. Here, let's let's pop back over here. So here is Blaine Sprague's uh, uh, tile printed up already, ready to go. Looking fantastic. Yep, and also a lot of these are new supporters uh, this week. Thank you very much for everybody who's supporting the channel on Patreon and elsewhere. Uh, yep, then those guys, we've we've uh, those are old supporters and they're still valuable to us. And we appreciate everybody who does everything. But there's Blaine. So Blaine, thank you very much for your huge contribution. Much appreciated. And thank you very much also to the rest of my contributors and all the wonderful things that you guys are doing. And if you don't see your name on any tile, don't worry, it's coming soon. There are more supporters coming in every week and I just can't keep up with them thank you very much you guys are doing fantastic so now you know how to embed things on the print you, what what do you think you could use this technique for besides maybe dice although you could use it for a dice you or, can make these. A dice. or these tiles what else could you do you could put your name on a spinner Good point. yeah that'd be cool or you could that'd draw a picture good. and scan it in and put it in there Lots of options, I think. What, you, know, it, you know, guys, if you have any ideas, put them in the comments of what you think my son should do with these. Um, but that's it for today. I appreciate you guys very much for watching. Uh, this was all recorded and done on the new rig, which would not have been possible without your support. And this video would not have been possible without your support. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you guys very much. You are changing my life and changing the way this works. It's still a little bit rough and I'm still working on it to get it out in time. Um, but you guys are amazing and I appreciate everything that you do. So as usual, I'll see you next time. Safety first. And thank you very much.
Thank you.